If the government were ever to digitize currency, your freedoms would evaporate. They could zero out your bank account and make you impoverished for being disobedient. You would be a serf at best. And with that in mind, you should know that central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, are about to become the norm in Europe. The president of the European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, has just said that Europeans will not be able to use more than $1,000 in cash anymore. Now we have in Europe this threshold above 1,000 euros, you cannot pay cash. If you do, you are on the gray market. So you take mm -hmm. your risk. You get caught, you are fined, or you go in jail. So you go to jail for spending your own money if they don't control it. That's coming here. Tulsi Gabbard has spoken out against it. She, of course, ran for president, served in the House from Hawaii, and joins us now. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks, Tucker. Do, do, this is so dystopian. You'd hate to think it could ever come here. You think it might. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, this is just the latest effort by those in power in our country who are intent on undermining and taking away our own freedoms and liberties. This, this central bank digital currency is about government sanctioned surveillance and control. It's about them being able to keep track of every single thing that we purchase, whether it's a stick of gum or an automobile or anything in between. And so if they have all this inf information and data, which they will in this system, then where does that lead? It gives them the power to decide, okay, well, hey, we don't want to allow you to purchase certain things or we may deem it necessary to, to freeze your overall account. Uh, this power and, and what they can do with it, it's not something we have to imagine. We've already seen how Democrats in Congress, Elizabeth Warren and others, are pressuring credit card companies to code and keep track of any purchase that's made at a store that sells firearms. Why? So that these private companies can then say, hey, this person is purchasing, I don't know what, they're, what they deem is kind of the threshold, but there's, they will then report that as suspicious activity to law enforcement and then expect law enforcement to take action and go after the purchases, legal, legal purchases that a private person made. So this all comes back to, to how you open this. Once we give up our economic autonomy, we no longer have freedom. Once we allow someone else to control our wallet, they then control our freedom. Do you think people understand what this means? It'll be sold, as always, as an effort to push back against terrorism or international financiers or crime or whatever. But do, do people understand on a gut level what, what could be coming? Uh, I, I don't think they do. And, and it's understandable because if you listen to what the government is telling us, like with all of these other things, whether it's the Patriot Act or the Restrict Act, they're doing the very same thing with this, saying, hey, this is for your own good. This is for your convenience, to make it easier for you to conduct transactions uh, when, in fact, they are giving themselves all of the power, uh, taking it away from us, undermining our God-given rights and freedoms in the Constitution uh, because they want to be able to control us. They want to be able to control we, the people. So nicely put. Tulsi Gabbard, joining us tonight. Thank you so much for that. Thanks, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.